Ladies and gentlemen, this is the interview that many of you guys have been waiting for for a very, very long time. Uh, we've been getting requests about him coming on to the show. A lot of the audience that watches Time to Football and watches this channel as well kind of you know, collide and they kind of have the same similarities. And we wanted to reach out to him and bring him on this show. So for the very first time and hopefully the first of many opportunities joining us on Time to Football Mason Dodd of the Fancy Flock YouTube channel. Mason, how are you doing, my man? Very good. Happy to be on here following up some NFL interviews. So, I mean, can't complain with that. Yeah, hey, and all those interviews, like, they are, they don't match up to you. Like, you put in the grind yeah, yeah. <laughs> on your channel. Like, you, I see you live streaming, like, after a Sunday, after a Monday, whatever. And I'm like, well, I don't know which coast you live on i don't know where you live but like i'm thinking to myself like dang man it's midnight like you put in the work would you, would you say that i mean work is your passion yeah probably you know probably work 80 hours a week during the football season live stream every single day 200 days in a row three four hours a day on top of every video like it, it wow but it's fantasy football it's not like you're laying tile or something it's not like it's a man's job or anything it's it's a yeah. boy's job no, that's that's very true. I mean, it makes it a little bit easier. I'm, I'm kind of the same way. I, I'm a workaholic. My wife actually gets on to me all the time about that. But I mean, I, I love it. Like, I love football. I love talking about it. And if you get to make money doing it, then, you know, why not? Um, so we're going to get into everything uh, as far as, you know, how your YouTube channel started. We're going to get into the Super Bowl as well. Uh, get your predictions on that. But yeah, let's start off with like the origin story. Like, tell me a little bit about yourself and uh, how did the Fantasy Flock YouTube channel began? Well, actually, I just started. I went to the University of Texas. I was a double major doing a lot of stuff and just wanted to start a dynasty fantasy football YouTube channel. I felt like there wasn't really any good quality content on YouTube for dynasty fantasy football in particular. I made multiple videos every single day. I mean, obviously, I'm still going to class, but I would be the kid in the back lecture hall with headphones on recording my podcast that was going to get 10 downloads at the most and doing that literally 24 seven had like 200 videos in a row before a single one, like a hundred views literally didn't care about it at all. Just in terms of views or anything, just had that pure passion and then did that for a while. And then one of the videos ended up getting like 25,000 views and I was like, Oh, should probably buy a decent should probably buy a microphone should probably <laughs> buy a camera and actually start bumping up the quality of this yeah that's uh that's actually how it begins it's like uh from my experience um this channel really took off from fancy football and we do other stuff as well on top of fancy football but um once i saw like a video getting like a thousand two thousand three thousand views every single week i was like oh man this is like the direction to go in um so you know kudos to you for picking that up um, tell me about your love for football. Like, do you have a favorite team and, uh, how did that transition into fantasy football and your love for, for fantasy as well? I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, my man. It's the, the complete opposite. I do. N I've just moved to Tampa from Austin, Texas. And I told myself, Hey, I, I'm moving to Tampa. They just won the super bowl. I'm rooting for the bucks. I'm finally going to be a fan of an NFL team. And then you turn on the Bucks game, go to a bar with a bunch of people there, and I'm watching it. I I can't I can't view it like just as a fandom, if, if that makes sense. I it's so hard for me to watch for a game and actually actively root for a team. What I find myself doing is I go hell. I, I drafted 250 teams this year, and of those 250, I have 45 teams with Chris Godwin. The only thing I'm watching for in this game is give Chris Godwin the ball. I, but my brain is broken, so I would say I, I don't even want to say I have a love for football, the game. I have a love for fantasy football and dynasty fantasy. I, like my brain's broken. I mean, it's it's going to be completely different. I don't care if they win, lose, even if that means like uh, the the Broncos win. I don't care. I don't care at this point. Um, just give that player the ball. I completely understand that. It could ruin it. Completely get it. Uh, so with that, though, what would you say are the ups and downs of having a fantasy football channel? I know that personally you talked about, OK, well, maybe watching football kind of ruined it for me. But uh, as far as having a fantasy channel, what are the ups and downs of that? I would honestly say that there are 
there's really no downside. This is what I talked to a bunch of people about who are wanting to get into fantasy football, producing content, whether it's a podcast or it's a video. It's as simple as if you enjoy doing it, you do it. If, if you don't, nobody's sitting there making you. So, I mean, obviously you deal with trolls in the comment section. I could care less at the beginning of every single one of my videos. I actively say, hey, I'm an idiot. I understand that I'm an idiot. And please let me know down there in the comment section. That's something that I put out there. I mean, because obviously people leaving comments, pretty good thing. And people also like telling you're dumb. So in reality, I would say maybe that's the only downside. I would say it's pretty much all upside because you're just doing something that you really enjoy. And occasionally uh, the 1% chance it turns into something. Hell, you have a dream job. Well said, well said. Uh, so you talked about the trolls and the comments and fantasy football, and uh, that's kind of the struggle that I'm having with as well, uh, where we kind of took off from fantasy football, but that's not the majority of our content. We talk about other things, but people kind of tune out on that stuff, and they just really focus on fantasy football. And the audience that can come from the fantasy football world can be a little bit pessimistic. So when you get a prediction correct, how good does it feel in your mind, or maybe even comment and reply to those trolls like, ha, take that. I was right about this guy. Not going to lie. It, it, it feels pretty good. You, you find yourself, if you say a player is going to be overdrafted and they end up going out there and failing, it's a lot easier to go live on Thursday night if you see the Chicago Bears and Justin Fields. I mean, a player I was really down on this past year have a bad game, whereas I don't want to say it's good to see, but it's better to see that than knowing, hell, he just had the game of his life. He just threw for 300 passing yards, multiple passing touchdowns, and ran one in. I'm about to have to go live and tell these 800 people watching this live stream how dumb I am and how I know nothing. So it's it feels good mainly to avoid just the, the embarrassment when you get something wrong. I would say it's more about avoiding that embarrassment rather than actually saying, ha ha, I, I told you. So let's talk forward about you. Uh, you know, We'll keep you on for a couple more minutes or so. Um, <clears throat> what's your direction for the off season going? Because, you know, Hey, I, I'm with you in the fact that during a fantasy football season, you put in a lot of time, get a lot of views, get a lot of money in the off season. You go from like 500 views, a live stream to like two, like what is your direction in the off season and how, what, what, did, what is your plan to really get that viewership back? Well, in reality, if you go over and you look at our second channel that we have, this is called the Dynasty Football Flock. Not a plug whatsoever. If you don't play Dynasty Fantasy Football, it's not no, going to be no, for you. Like, hey, D this, this is the plug. This is the plug. Definitely plug your stuff. You're the man. You're the shit. Like, you're the greatest thing on earth. Plug your stuff. <laughs> well, no, I, I, I'm letting you know. If you don't play Dynasty Fantasy Football, this isn't going to be for you because that's the only thing on here. But Like, if you pull up these videos, we upload a video every single day. I mean, I'm going to be doing this for the entire off season and we have the number one dynasty fantasy football channel, like over the past 28 days off the one video day, I mean, over 200,000 views. So it's not like it's dropping off. We go through and we hop in a live stream on that one. We'll have over 200 live viewers. So, wow. That's, it's, it's nice being dynasty. No, that's, that's incredible that you still have like that momentum going into the off season. Um, and so I would say for the long term, career wise, uh, I, I know that you said that you know you went to college, you were a double major. Uh, do you have aspirations of maybe landing a job somewhere and working your way up in the ranks, uh, or do you want to just settle? Not saying settle, like it, it's a great opportunity, but uh, just want to keep tight with just YouTube and grow in just the YouTube world. My man, we, we are so big on YouTube right now. I would rather do this than pretty much anything else on the planet. Like, it, it doesn't matter how you view it. I mean, me being able to do what I love every single day, financially, it makes more sense than anything. We're just checking every single box. If this past football season, I, I'm not an idiot. Obviously, YouTube channels get smaller. Things go up and down. Nothing's set in stone. But if I could sign a little contract saying everything was going to happen, like, this last football season for the next decade or the next 20 years, I'm signing that piece of paper every day. I love it. I love it. And I, I agree with you. I mean, I've had multiple people come up to me because uh, my path was kind of similar to yours. Like I went to school 
because they lie to you in the sports casting world like hey you have to have a degree to get a job somewhere but really it's about like who you know and networking and um yeah so it, it's kind of a weird industry and, and now after not finding a job growing on youtube if someone asked me hey would you take a job from espn or nfl network they came up to you i was like uh maybe i'll show up for like a one-off appearance but nah i i, I yeah. like you know sticking to to, to my audience and, and my viewers that are very loyal and uh youtube youtube is the way to go for real like that's the fastest way to grow uh at this point um well, Mason, I, I appreciate you taking the time to, to, to c come on here. I know that a lot of people, like I said, that watch my channel, watch your channel, vice versa. Um, I don't even know if you ever heard of Time to Football prior to this, but, uh, well, here you go. This is your first introduction to Time to Football. But give, your, give my audience your introduction. Where can people find you? Um, you don't have to find me anywhere. You don't want to, uh, we have a redraft channel, fantasy flock network. We're not really going to be posting anything there throughout the off season. We have a dynasty channel, dynasty football flock. You can find dynasty fantasy football stuff there. I know a lot of people aren't into it. And to be honest, if you play dynasty fantasy football, you've already seen it. So th there's not too much to plug. I mean, you can go over to our Twitter at build the dynasty and you can watch me tweet about things that are going to get people angry intentionally, but that's just kind of like what I like to do. Love it, man. Hey, Mason, thank you for joining us. Congratulations on your success, and we will definitely be chatting soon in the future. Thank you, my dude. That is Mason Dodd of the Fancy Flock YouTube channel. Make sure you guys check him out. I'll put the links down in the description below.